Here's the finished installation of the smooth rods, their linear bearings, and the rod clamps that hold them in place. There's a bonus here, that fourth bearing has finally been added. The bearing clamp actually connects directly to this rod clamp on the back. The screws holding this bearing in place are also what holds this rod clamp in place. You need two of the shorter smooth rods, three linear bearings, four rod clamps, mine are rounded but other kit revisions are rectangular, eight plastite screws, and one bearing clamp. Place one linear bearing on each of the smooth rods. You will notice the smooth rods get oily during this step. Do not wipe up that oil. You want that lubrication so the smooth rod will slide freely through that linear bearing. The smooth rods will be on the same side as the motor and idler pulley. They fit in these large trenches here. Sometimes you just gotta wiggle them just a tiny bit to get them to drop in place. I find that if I just push it all to one side, it seems to find its home inside that trench. These rod clamps will go on the ends Right now I can only attach three of them, and the three I can attach right now I've set in place to show you. The fourth one I can only attach once I've placed another bearing and bearing clamp on the other side, and then feed the plastite screw through that into this rod end. I have rounded rod ends, you may have square ones. If you have square ones, there should be one rod end that's missing a corner, and that's to give you clearance from this idler pulley, so make sure that missing corner faces this idler pulley. If you have the round ones, you don't have to worry about it, but just in case you have the square ones, now you know. I need to flip this over to actually finish the installation of these rod ends. The plastite screws are going to go in here, here, and here for the first three rod clamps, but you're going to need to turn this on its side to make the installation easier. I already have my rod clamp ready back here. I just need to attach the plastite screws in the front. I'm not going to tighten them all the way down, I'm just going to get them started and then tighten them all down together. The top clamp I can attach just like the other side, but the bottom one I need to feed through a bearing clamp. So I'll be placing a bearing and clamp in this spot here, just like we did in a previous step, and then I'll feed the plastate screws through that into the rod clamp. This can be a little tricky to make sure the bearing lands in the trench. Just make sure it's in place before you feed through the plastite screws. I said before that I only started these screws. I didn't tighten them down all the way. I'm ready to do that now, but before I do, I'm going to double check that these rods are inside of the trenches where they belong. If any of them are overhanging, I need to undo the screws and then fix those. So I can see everything is good, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten down all of these screws here to finish the rod installation. All these screws should be tightened until they're firm. Remember that plastite screws thread the plastic that you're feeding them into. I flipped this over to show you that the clamps when tightened, come all the way down to the frame. There's a very little air pocket here, if any at all. Once yours look like this, you're ready to move on. I previously checked the alignment of the bearings on the side of the motor. Now that this fourth bearing is installed, I can check the alignment on the opposite side. The reason I checked this alignment is that this slides on top of the smooth rods that are standing up out of the base. So when you place this piece, it'll be vertical and much harder to adjust the bearings later. So take one of the smooth rods that hasn't been attached yet and just slide it through the two bearings to make sure that it's aligned. I've yet to hit any resistance when I've checked any of the bearings, and you most likely won't hit any resistance either. However, if you do have trouble sliding that through, then one of your bearings is slightly slanted, or maybe you didn't get it in the trench properly. So undo these screws, fix the bearing, and tighten them back down. When you know your alignment is good, you're ready to move on.